Often the main purpose of an academic text is to prove a point or solve a problem by using substantiated facts. To accomplish this, you need to thoroughly plan the argument structure of your text. This video provides an introduction to basic and advanced argument structure. Let's use the effects of sleep on academic performance as a topic. Many researchers have published academic articles to prove that there is a relationship between sleep and academic performance. Take a look at some of the sources. The basic argument of Gilbert and Weaver is that sufficient sleep aids memory processing. Chiang and the other researchers prove that sleep also aids learning processes. Therefore, it can be concluded that sleep is necessary for students to perform well at university. The application of the information to your specific context is also important. One step further than simply coming to a conclusion would be to illustrate to your reader what the implication is. In this case, it could be that students should make sure they get enough sleep. To test if you have a basic argument, you can start with your implication and then work in reverse by asking yourself some questions. Firstly, students should get enough sleep. Why? Secondly, because sleep is necessary to perform well academically. Is there any proof? Yes, Gilbert and Weaver prove it aids memory processing and Chiang et al. prove it aids learning. And both memory and learning are necessary for academic performance. Note that your argument has to be clear. To you, it may feel like you are stating the obvious. But remember, what seems obvious to you is not necessarily obvious to the reader. Even when people are confronted with exactly the same facts, they can still come to different conclusions. Different conclusions, in turn, may lead to different applications of the information. It is your responsibility to make your train of thought as clear as possible so that your reader agrees with your conclusions. Use information from academic sources as your statements. Clearly state the logical conclusion you come to by using this information and then make it clear to your reader what is the implication of this information. Although the basic argument is effective for proving a point or solving a problem, it is possible that a reader can disagree with your conclusions because they have additional facts or because they interpret facts differently. To compensate for this possibility, you can make your argument stronger by means of a more advanced argument structure. In the advanced argument, the logical flow follows the same pattern as in the basic argument, but the writer foresees that somebody may have a possible counter-argument. Therefore, in the advanced argument structure, possible counter-arguments are raised and the writer deals with them by proving them wrong or by admitting that they have some validity and then slightly adjusting the conclusion or implication proposed in the beginning. The outline of a more extended argument may look like this. Sleep aids memory and learning. Therefore, students need sleep to perform. However, some students claim that they can remember facts well after studying through the night. This might be due to their reliance on short-term memory. So, for long-term retention of studied material, sleep remains essential. Finally, students should plan study and rest periods adequately to reap the benefits of long-term memory associated with effective sleep habits. Of course, the way an argument is structured will depend on the information you find and your interpretation of it. There are multiple ways to structure an argument and counter-argument sequence. When you show that both sides of an argument have been considered, it makes your argument stronger. In terms of argumentation, note that this complex and challenging skill cannot be taught in one video. It is something you need to deliberately focus on when planning and reviewing your writing.